Good morning, you guys. It is 7 a.m. and I am on my way to the gym. So I figured I would do like a little car chat this morning because I have a few things that I wanted to share with you guys. The first is the last two days I went with a friend in the morning and I feel like it was so transformative for my mindset, which I'll explain in a second, but then also just to like have some social interaction in the morning. Um, it keeps you accountable, it makes you work out harder, and you get to like talk first thing with like an adult. And usually I talk with Nathaniel, which is an adult, but mainly my kids. <laughs> so I highly recommend going with a friend if you feel like you're lacking that, um, or if you are struggling like getting to the gym. Sorry, this might be a little bit of a bumpy like clip, but I'm gonna focus on driving and just chat. My friend works out with an Apple Watch and I have never had one of those, so I've never tracked like how many calories I've burned. I've never tracked my workouts to see like how many calories I have burned and I honestly just like didn't even think about it. But both of the workouts we did, we burned over 500 calories, which was just like mind blowing to me. Like that seems like so much. And so it kind of just like solidified that like what I'm doing in the gym is like working and I feel like I'm working out hard. Um, not to say that you have to burn that many calories each time, but like it just made me realize that I don't know, I'm doing some good workouts. And then also, she's been lifting pretty heavy for a long time, and I was able to keep up with her, like, pretty good. I mean, she of course lifted more than me with pretty much everything, but some of the stuff, like especially for legs, I was able to do as well, which I feel like I've been so afraid to test myself in that way because it's been so long, so that was amazing. But the main like thing I wanted to share with you guys is the fact that this is the first time in my life I have ever lost weight not tracking what I'm putting into my body. Since I've last updated, I've lost like another two pounds, um, which again, isn't like crazy, but I've legit never lost weight unless I have tracked every single food that I have consumed, which I know is like really bad. I won't get like super into this, but I used to struggle a ton with um, disordered eating, like I used to restrict my foods, like I would literally weigh out every like berry that entered my body and then I would binge eat like super bad in, in private and I don't even know for a while and I don't know, it was just super bad. So like to be able to be at this point now is like so crazy to me and I don't know if it's like my kids that brought that out of me. I don't know if it's the lack of time to be able to track food and just understand like I need to just like focus on a well-rounded meal but I'm very proud of myself and I guess I'm just sharing in hopes that like maybe this could help any of you but anyways I did legs with her and then we did cardio and abs so today I'm gonna do some arms um, I have been posting my workouts like here and there to Instagram if you guys want to see but if you guys want like a week in my life working out with me let me know I am like terrified to vlog in the gym it's really awkward but maybe I would do it if you guys wanted it so let me know and good morning I rushed home to try and throw myself together just a little bit because when I don't, I swear I just like cannot get anything done through the day. But I wanted to share really quick some products that I've been liking. None of this is sponsored. It is just some things I've been liking. So I am back on my Olaplex like shampoo and conditioner, which I really like. Um, but this stuff, this hair oil is what I swear is like so transformative to my hair. It just keeps it like so um, soft and not dry, but not oily. I don't know, I, I love it. I swear when I use like better products on my hair, my hair feels so much better. And I don't really know what's the best way to show all this, but the other thing is my skincare, which I've been using Dime since like April, I believe. Um, I just recently got this one to try it out and I really like it. Um, these are my other favorite products I've been using for a while. So the Dewy Day Cream for day and then the um, restorative night cream for night. Those are moisturizers. And then I have these two serums that I really like. Um, one is a vitamin C, it's called Hyperglow. And the other one is a hyaluronic acid serum. And then of course, some sunscreen. So if you guys have been around for a while, you know I'm not usually super good with like skincare. But I've been pretty dang consistent with this and I just like how like clean and simple this is. Like I said, it's not sponsored, but I will be working with them soon in the future. Um, I used to have a discount code with them. I don't know if it's still active, but if not, I'll have one soon. So anyways, I am gonna go get my kids. It is 
8.54, Nathaniel and I switch over at nine o'clock. He goes to work and I'm with them, so. Okay, welcome to my bathroom, a place I didn't ever think I would film in, but I had to give you guys a potty training update and honestly, there were so many like little things in here. It just felt the most appropriate to just share in here. So we are now on day six of potty training and it's honestly been a lot more than I thought it was gonna be. He has done extremely well, but mentally it is a lot to just like constantly worry if like he has to go pee or poop and all that kind of thing. He didn't have any accidents yesterday. Uh-oh, did you take off your stickers? Remember, babe, if we take them off, they're not gonna stick anymore. Uh-oh, okay, put it back on. And yesterday was the first day he actually went to number two on the toilet like by himself. So that was on day five. I kind of like wrote down some things to like categorize for you guys. So this is not like a how to potty train your kid. Honestly, I am winging it. But these are just some things that have helped us if you're like curious like what to start. So the first one was like how did I know he was ready? Um, I think he's been ready for a while. He always told us when he had to go poop. He's always been doing that in the restroom. He's always interested in the restroom anytime we go pee or poop. Anytime my friends are potty trained like he's super curious. And he wasn't really fearful of the toilet. So I felt like those were good signs. He's also of age. He's two and almost three months I believe. So everything just seemed like a good time. We were about to run out of diapers and I just decided to do it. So we basically just did the no pants method. He just wore underwear for like three days straight and we didn't leave the house until the end of the third day. And we were just constantly putting him on the toilet. So when he woke up from the day, we tried to get him to pee. If he didn't, we would do like every 30 minutes until he peed. If it had been like over an hour and a half, we would put him on the toilet like every 15 minutes. Uh, but really the amount of times you put them on the toilet really just depends on how often your kid pees because they could pee anywhere from like twice a day to like six or seven times a day, which is rocky. <laughs> As the days pass, you'll be able to understand. Uh, uh, I know mama's camera's broken, huh? You'll be able to just like know how many times they go, but yeah, we just kind of did that. And then if he would go, we would wait about an hour. Um, a big thing though, is if you are not paying attention to them, they will have accidents and that's when his accidents happened when like we thought he was good and we just kind of like didn't watch for his signs and then he peed. The signs that I look for are like him staring off, him like dancing with his legs. Um, and for him, he doesn't really love the sensation. So it would be like a burst of like a scream or something. And so that's when we know. But the hardest thing has been trying to get him to understand, like to tell us, Rocky, dad is working, we can't go in there. You need to listen. He's working. Nope, nope, he's working, he's on the call. Then you will so offices right here, so Rocky of course wanted to go in there. But um, yeah, getting him to like tell us he has to go is another thing that I I think he is getting better at. The first time he didn't tell us and he wasn't even bothered. And then the second time he told us like as he was going. Um, and then yesterday when he went number two, he literally like ran to the bathroom, which was so big for us. So that's like the most frustrating thing because you're just kind of like, when is this gonna end? But let me look over the last few things. Oh, one tip is to give them a ton of water. The more practice, the better. Activities on the toilet, we have a Tony's box. And so anytime we would come sit on here, I would let him pick out a Tony's and it would just kind of like keep us entertained. We also read books and this one specifically is from Love Every and it's about going poop. And this has like helped him a ton, just like feel more confident. We sing songs. We have put on Daniel Tiger. There's like an episode where he like goes to the bathroom there's like a little jingle so we've been singing that um and then i've also been setting timers and i let rocky press the button so that's like how long he'll stay on the toilet and we have him stay on from anywhere from like three to five minutes and if he doesn't go then we'll try again in like the appropriate amount of time for us we did a sticker chart i will show you guys like an overlay but that was like his incentive to go pee and once he got 10 stickers he could go get a toy and pee was one sticker poop was three stickers and he got that on day two, which was super nice. Um, he picked out this like truck, whatever. But honestly, you guys, bribery sometimes is what you have to use. Like yesterday I was at a friend's house. It was his first time peeing somewhere else. And I bribed him with a m, &M. Like it just is sometimes all you can do. Um, sometimes we would bribe him with like watching TV or I don't know, because it was just whatever we could do to just get him go because sometimes he just like didn't want to go. We also have been like overly like, 
excited for him when he does and then he gets super excited so it's kind of like a fun thing so we try like to express so much gratitude and then another thing is when they have an accident try not to like scold them say like it's okay everyone has accidents but like this is where we're supposed to go and then yeah because i feel like if it's a huge thing it kind of like makes them sad and like like it's a bad thing but they're gonna have accidents i will leave like all these little tools um linked down below if you guys are curious but yeah, this is mainly what we did. We had like a little toddler seat on the toilet. We didn't get like a toilet because I didn't want him to get used to that and then have to get used to something else. Although I did buy a toilet because he had an accident when we went out for the first time. Dude, that story is hilarious. Honestly, you guys judge me if you want, but I think it's so funny. He went into a public restroom and it smelled and he literally threw up all over Nathaniel and then peed his pants. It was so bad. So I learned that I need a portable potty and I'm just gonna keep it in the trunk. And if that is like a situation we're in, he can just go in that. But I'm trying to make his situation as normal as possible. So that way when we're at friend's house, parent's house, like whatever, it's still the same environment. But anyways, I need to grab Rocky. He is bothering Nathaniel. So that is a P update. If you guys want any more questions answered, just leave them down below. I just got back family photos that we took over the weekend. That's where we like left and had that incident with Rocky, but this is your sign to get them done because it felt like it was going to take a lot, but holy crap, I, they're just so worth it. Like, so freaking worth it. So, yeah, I will post these to my Instagram, of course, but also if you're local, my friend Kaylin literally does the best job. Hi. Rocky down for his nap and this girl's gonna hang out for a little bit longer so we are gonna declutter this mess back here if you can see it you will in a second I decluttered some of their toys yesterday um, the ones that are in the closet near the playroom and I've been really meaning to go through these ones because it's just like a bunch of random things that get brought down here some toys belong upstairs some are like broken and just like random things and we really want to Bobby, did you do it? Yeah. I'm so proud of you. Did you flush it, you flush it away? Yeah. Good job, Rocky. Okay, baby, I love you. Have a good nap. But we want to get Rocky new cars, I think, um, for Christmas. Just like really nice ones because we just have a bunch of like random like cheap ones. And yeah, I don't know. So main point we're gonna declutter the toys before christmas i'll show you guys what i did upstairs as well once i am done Do this, this is what i pulled from this closet right here rocky's asleep right there so that's why i'm like talking super quietly but we're gonna donate all of that we just weren't reaching for them if you guys are new, our playroom is like in the loft and then right off the loft is this linen closet which is where all of our toys are. This is all the toys that we have besides what I just showed you downstairs. It's just super nice to be able to rotate it and have it this close and I'm really trying to only keep things that my kids are grabbing for. <laughs> this girl is doing so good just playing. I also wanted to mention this is not sponsored either but Love Every, which is every single toy behind you, is doing $30 off their play kits right now until I think the 29th. So I'll leave that link for you guys. We're gonna hang out until she goes to sleep in like 10 minutes. Hi, cute girl. I'm 
pretty sure this is the sensory table that I ordered for the kids. And originally I thought I was going to give it to them for Christmas, but there are so many sensory activities I'm doing for the advent calendar that I just decided I'm gonna give it to them right away. So I need to think of a different item for Rocky for Christmas. That's a big one, but this is something I've been meaning to get for a long time anyway. So I'm gonna put this together while I'm watching some YouTube myself. Echo just went down, although she is just babbling away. Um, that girl is such a blessing. She literally will just chill until she falls asleep. So. Alright, so here is the table. It was super easy to put together, although I am a little concerned of like this. Like this just seems discolored to me. I don't know. I got it off of Etsy. I also had to like hammer in these little things because one was like sticking out, but I think it's fine. I also have no idea where my other bin is, so I just have one for right now, which is a bummer because Ikea is very far from me. But besides those like little few things, I really like it. Um, my friend has this one and she has loved it. I just wanted to like set up an activity right now and I'm annoyed that I don't know where I put this bin. I am going to rotate this playroom with like the big furniture. I don't really know how I want it, but because the kids are always sleeping and I have a podcast I want to listen to, I'm just going to time lapse it and listen and see what we come up with because it's been like this for a little bit and I'm not loving it and I feel like Rocky hasn't been loving it, so let's switch up. I just kind of went crazy decluttering, cleaning, organizing. I finished the playroom and then I wanted to bring the Pickler triangle outside because my friend did that the other day and the backyard was like a complete mess. So I just went and cleaned that. And now it's like 2.22 and the kids could wake up at any moment and I just want a second to relax. I feel like every time I say that they wake up right away, but I'm gonna take it because I one am hot from like moving around Guys, it's crazy. It's literally like still so warm here in Arizona. Like it's definitely cooled off, but like we did a water sensory activity yesterday outside at like 4 p.m. So yeah, it's currently 72, which is beautiful weather, which is why we live here, I feel like. But anyways, long tangent, I'm going to watch some YouTube and chill until the kids wake up. I know now you'll never change your mind. For something that matters, matters to me. You do not know what I have in my life. Those are called. Dada, Dada. We packed our bags when we are on our way. Does Daddy use that? Clearly it is a lot later. I think this is the first time I've ever forgot that I was vlogging and we just ended up like doing th some things. Um, I ended up doing like some gift 
guide type stuff on Instagram. We had dinner. I put down Echo. Nathan and Rocky are actually playing with the sensory table again upstairs right now, but you guys have all seen that. So I wanted to just kind of share what I've been doing at the end of the day as often as possible after the kids go down because it really just like sets me up for the next day and makes my days better and easier as a mom of two kids. Um, today is Wednesday, which means tomorrow is Thanksgiving. So we are gonna go to both families. We are leaving at like 8.30 in the morning and we're not gonna get home until like probably six. So we're gone all day long, which means we need to prep for the kids. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I also want to make sure the house is clean before we go so that way we come home to a clean house because we're also going to my grandparents cabin on Friday to Saturday so we're gonna be gone again so I just want to make sure it is uh, nice and clean and then I need to bag some milk um, I need to wash my face I need to just like look over work and see where we're at there so those are like a lot of the things that I'll do um, also do like a tidy up around the house um, I'm trying to think make sure some laundry is started just like all the things, you know, to just prepare. So this is what I'm bringing for Echo. Just super easy tomorrow, an avocado and an apple spinach packet. Um, I don't have to worry about that being refrigerated. It's totally good. I also wanted to share, I'm gonna bring this toilet. This is like a portable potty that like folds down. Um, we're gonna keep this in the car so that way um, Rocky has like a smaller seat and isn't afraid of like the bigger seats. We packed the pack and play um, for Echo to take naps. My mom has a crib, which is where Rocky will nap. Um, we need to remember like the sound machine and stuff in the morning. But yeah, I'm just gonna like go through all that kind of stuff. The milk that I'm bagging is from my Hakka. Um, I usually get a bottle every three days because I just do the milk um, from my first feed because my boobs are just super engorged from the night, so I'm not pumping, um, but I am giving Echo a bottle of breast milk um, along with nursing her for the last feeding. I just feel like she doesn't get enough from me, so I give her a bottle. So that is where this is coming from. Just to kind of continue to have a stash um, if this continues to be a thing, and it has been a thing for like three months now, so I'm trying to stay on top of it. Nathaniel so kindly picked up this area while I was nursing Echo. Um, he's making mashed potatoes for the family like at like 5 a.m. So that's why that's out. But I only have to wash this bottle, which is amazing. All right. I feel like this is a theme of me ending my vlogs here once the kids are down. But it is now 7 o'clock exactly. I still need to like wash my face clearly and do a few things. But I just got Rocky down. Nathaniel is headed out um, to go hang out with some friends tonight and I have some work to do. I need to get the gift like linking thing because I've had so many questions about it and honestly, I've been like super stressed because I just feel like it's overwhelming. And I don't know, there's just so much consuming this time of year. It just is overwhelming to like do it myself and then share about it too. But I hear you guys and I like want to be a good resource for you. So I'm just gonna share like what I am getting my kids. Um, and I will leave a highlight on my Instagram if you guys are curious, but I'll also try and leave links down below for this. But anyways, I'm going to do that and then wash my face get cozy. Um, Nathaniel and I are now watching White Lotus. Um, we finished Tell Me Lies. I don't know if I updated you guys here, but that last episode like blew my mind. We literally were speechless. We were like, what the heck's going on? So we started White Lotus. It's like kind of weird and like random, but funny, but also like there's a murder and I'm like, what is going on? I don't know, it's interesting, but weird. But I can't watch it with Nathaniel because he's gone and honestly, I've been weirdly into it. So I'll probably just watch YouTube or something. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Um, I feel like I had a good time vlogging today, so that's awesome. But yeah, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.